All right, so your belts are hitting the flange of your motor pulley, whether up or down on either side, right? How do we fix this? Well, we get our handy dandy Allen wrench of the appropriate size. This one obviously is too small. And it doesn't matter, I'm gonna do this side because it's easier to photograph, but it's the same on the other side. You are going to find that screw, unscrew it, unscrew, 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 and then you're going to rotate it and find the next screw. That's the same one. There we go. Unscrew, unscrew, unscrew. And then you've got to find a screwdriver. Um, I think this comes with the LDO kit. It's the perfect screwdriver for the job. If you are high, so if your belt is hitting the top of the flan or top of the pulley, you just push it down a little bit. Push it down a little bit. Get your handy dandy Allen wrench. And you go screw, screw, screw. You tighten just one screw. It's all you need is one screw. And then what you're going to do is you're going to move this thing forward and backward. And you're going to see, you know, you, you just want the um, pulley to move. So you don't need to move the tool head left and right. You just a little, little gently forward and backward. And you'll see the belt move in a new position. Okay. If it's not where you like it, if it's, if it's still um, not too high up up, then you push it down again. Now, if it's too low, well, you have to un un undo what you just set and that, just that one screw and push it down again. If it's too low, you get your LDO or whatever small, tiny flathead screwdriver. You stick it in here and you're going to stick it right. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can get closer. Ching. Okay, so you're going to stick it right underneath the bottom flange and you're just going to make sure that these guys are, um, all the set screws are loose. Because if, if they're not and you push it, you're going to bend this thing. So you just push it, gently push it up. Just a little bit. It just You just need a little bit. It's not, not too much or you're going to go way out. So just do it a little bit. All right? And it's best to do it where the set screw is already showing. Because as soon as you do a little bit, you're going to set that set screw again. And then you're going to do this whole exercise. Right? And see where it lands. And you're, it's... You don't want it to touch the bottom, and you don't want it to touch the top, but you don't got a lot of room there. So if you can see a little bit of the teeth there and a little bit of the teeth there, you're okay. And you kind of do the full exercise. Now, what's going to happen, let's say you go all the way back and all the way forward, and that belt is moving up and down, up and down. You got a couple, couple things that could be happening. One is your Y extrusion is not level, okay? So if it's if the Y extrusion is down like this, right? Let's just say it's down like this, and you push it forward and backward, that belt's gonna ride up and down. And it's gonna be, it may be even, if it's down like this, even while it's down, and then as you push it forward, it's gonna slowly ride up because this whole thing's on level. Same thing if it's the opposite, right? It'll actually start going downward. So the belt will go downward. Generally, this is not the biggest problem. It's going to be your idlers. So what you, especially on BFI, BFI is uh, Rama, not as much, but BFI. You want to make sure that in your course of travel, right, that, and the BFI is really hard to do because you can see mine, mine are doing it, right? So if you look at the, the bearings, right, all the way back there in the middle, and as I pull it forward, it's still in the middle, right? Uh, somewhat. It, it's almost touching up there, but it's not. This thing, you have to get this parallel, this carriage parallel with how your, you can, how your gain or your extrusion is. So if you have it, so let's just say everything's flat, right? So this is a hundred percent perpendicular to this, but, and this is a hundred percent perpendicular to this, but this thing itself is going downward. Well, that's going to mean that everything here is angled downward. So you want this perp this carriage perpendicular to the housing, but sometimes when you do that, because your extrusion is pointed downward, maybe you corrected the, the build plate being low in the back or high in the back, and you did that by flexing this guy up and down. Well, if you did that, that means that this can't be perpendicular to this anymore because this whole thing is angled. So you're naturally gonna slide up and down. 
So it's best to start when you redo the tension, if this is causing the problem, right? Because you, you, you fix that, you think you fix that, and you're doing this and it's slide is still rising up and down. Look at your BFIs and look at now, do the same test forward and backward, but see where this guy rides up. And if you notice that he's going up and down, that means that you need to readjust this, the carriage's angle with respect to the housing because if this is riding up and down, it's going to hit the flange and eventually it's going to eat your belt. So if you notice that it's riding up and you're, it's going to depend on the direction. But if you, if you do it like this, it's going to, I believe, ride up. And if you go like this, this way, so this way, it's going to ride down. So after you fix this, if you notice that it's still riding up and down, you can't really get it in, look to this guy and maybe... You just need to make him centered, and then that'll be centered. So they're, they kind of work together because of this long belt here, right? And, and then the extrusion. So that's what I would do.